Hey there guys, so today we have another beer mail. Uh, it's been a busy week of beer mails. And uh, this is from Clint from Florida. Um, he actually heard that I had some uh, Central Water 17 and offered to trade. So um, I was happy to trade with him, especially a viewer. It's always awesome to trade with the viewer, right? And so, um, just open the box. Let's see what I have from him. Um, he also he, uh, offered to send me some local Florida stuff. So um, outside of Cigar City, haven't had too much from Florida. It's really interested uh, to see what we have. Uh, this is from Coppertail. He said he actually works there. Um, this is Sabotage. Uh, what is this? This is a Russian Imperial Stout with cacao nibs, um, cascara. Um, I imagine that might be a spice or something. And coffee beans. Awesome. Wow. Love me some Imperial Stouts. Again, especially if they're adjuncted. Uh, love, love them both. Love regular Imperial Stouts and adjunct Imperial Stouts. But really excited about that one. Wow, that's cool. Heard great stuff about Coppertail. So let's think of the next one. Oh, wow. What's this? Oh, it's an upside down bottle. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, no. Let's see. So, this is another Coppertail beer, right? Yeah, Coppertail Brewing's Unholy Triple. I really like the design on these uh, on these labels. Really nice. I like the dark uh, label with that kind of cool art on there. If you see that, um, yeah, a triple. Interesting. Um, always excited to see how American breweries are sort of holding up to the triples, uh, traditional triple style. It's nice to see that uh, Unibrew does Le Fin du Monde, which is one of, actually probably my favorite of the style. So non-Belgian is actually doing one of my favorites of the style. But uh, very curious if uh, an, an American, non-Canadian, can sort of uh, do the style very well. All right, well, this one's hard to get out. I think it might be a Crowler. Yeah, it is. Wow, cool. Awesome. Um, these peanuts. All right, let's see. This is a Crowler. So if you guys don't know, it's basically a 32-ounce can, as you see. Um, and it's from Cycle Brewing. Awesome. And what is this? Uh, all right. Well, it says it's a Crowler. You know, uh, basically they it's a basic Growler fill, and then they just seal the can. But oh wait, there we go. Crank, crank. Is that their double IPA or IPA? That might be. Awesome. Okay. Um, I'll have to research that, but uh, really excited. Yeah. Crowler. Awesome. Um, I don't think I've ever actually gotten a Crowler. I've drank from, drunk from a Crowler before, but uh, really cool. Really nice to get that. Oh, wow. Sweet. A Growler fill? Oh my God. Awesome. Oh, this is so generous. Jesus Christ. Thanks so much, Clint. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, sweet. I'm really... Surprise, these peanuts are like almost as if they're glued on somehow. That's really weird. Huh. So, digging in, and what do we have here? Jeez, have you? I've never seen this before. The peanuts are almost as if they melted on, but that's not even possible because it's been cold weather. Anyway, this is another beer from Copper Tail, um, you know, from them. And what is this? This is Purple Drank. Purple Drank. Okay, that's one of the most interesting names of a beer that I've ever heard. Um, Purple drink. I'm just trying to like visualize what that possibly uh, could be. I have no clue what purple drink could be. Maybe something like a fruity, a fruited beer. Um, yeah, maybe a fruited beer would be called purple drink. But anyway, I'll have to do my research after this video. Again, this is completely bl uh, blind, so I have no clue what like these two beers are. Oh, what's this? Sweet. The beer that I traded for. This is Rare Doss from Cycle Brewing. Um, this is their Whiskey Barrel Age Imperial Stouts. Um, awesome can't wait um yeah th i've had the rum barrel age version was pretty awesome but uh rare dos i'm actually more of a fan of uh, uh whiskey and um bourbon or bourbon or whiskey and bourbon sorry uh barrel aged stouts okay i think we're almost done you guys don't have to you know hear me blab blabber on for too much longer awesome another um copper tail beer and this is Seasonal release Baltic Porter. Um, awesome stuff. Brewed with goji berries and elderberries. That sounds really fun. Huh. You guys know go goji berries are pretty interesting kind of like red berry that, you know, sort of like herbal and used in like Eastern remedies and whatnot. Or I think people just eat them actually. Um, really interesting. I I'm curious what ABV this is. Does not say, but Baltic Porter, I assume is more, you know, more towards that kind of imperial style Baltic Porter or whatever it is. Awesome. Thanks so much, Clint. This is amazing. Um, 
Jesus, a lot of beer. I don't even know what to do with it. Uh, thankfully, I have a share coming up, so hopefully I'll be sharing a lot of this beer with people. And uh, until next time, guys, cheers. I have awesome. Uh, this is amazing. So again, uh, super flattered. Uh, thanks so much, Clint. This is extremely generous. Just too nice of you. And, and until next time, guys, cheers later. I will be reviewing a bunch of these. Cheers.